everybody, this is Jerry from Vet Tech Bytes, and today we are going to be doing CRI calculations. <clears throat> I'm going to split this up into a few parts, just because I don't want to overwhelm everybody, and like, it's just easier to go step by step. So, I want to start by doing just basic CRIs, you know, nothing really too, 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 too crazy. Um, just something like a, if you were going to start a fentanyl CRI for surgery, or if you were going to do a lidocaine CRI, if they started throwing BPCs, or just something like that, like just just a basic one. First thing we want to go over is the difference between dose and dosage, alright? So dosage is going to be the doctor's order in 5 micrograms per kg per hour, right? And that's their dosage. The dose is going to be 200 micrograms per hour. Dose is a specific amount. Dosage needs to be calculated. Um, it's not really a hard concept, but a lot of people just don't know the little difference. <clears throat> Alright, so today we are going to be starting off with routine CRIs. Okay, ones that are going to be very, very simple. Alright, so let's start with uh, fentanyl is one of the easiest ones. Fentanyl is one of the most commonly used CRIs in my hospital, and I think one of the most common CRIs in any surgical setting. So, um, fentanyl is 50 micrograms per mil, right? And let's say the most uh, average post-op fentanyl CRI rate is going to be 5 micrograms per kilogram per hour, right? And so let's say we have a patient that is 20 kilograms. Alright, so the way I think about math is the equation's already been given to us. So if we have 5 micrograms per kilogram per hour, that's already structured into a math problem, right? So we have 5 micrograms per is basically multiplication, right? So 5 micrograms per 1 kilogram, so 5 times 20 kilograms, 5 times 20 equals 1 hundo equals 100 micrograms 5 micrograms times 20 kilograms equals 100 micrograms right 100 micrograms per hour and since we know that fentanyl is 50 micrograms per mil we take what we need divided by what we have we need 100 micrograms we have 50 micrograms 100 divided by 50, 2. So, our fentanyl CRI is going to be running at 5 mics per kick per hour, which is going to equate to 2 mils per hour. That's it. And I didn't use anything that wasn't given to us already. Uh, but let's try to do another one. Let's do a, uh, let's do a lidocaine CRI, right? CRI, which is a 2% solution, right? 2%. Anytime we have percent, percent equals grams over 100 mils per cent, one gram per 100, right? Slatocane 2% or 20 mg per mil. Let's just erase this. So we want our lidocaine to run at 20 micrograms per kick per hour, or per minute, excuse me. Right? So let's say for the sake of the problem that our patient is 13.5 kilograms, right? Thirteen point five kilograms. Again, our equation's already been given to us. Twenty micrograms per kg per minute. So we have twenty micrograms times thirteen point five kilograms equals equals two hundred and seventy. 
micrograms per minute. Right? So we know we need 270 micrograms per minute. We only have things in megs per mil, so we need to convert it to a more usable number for us. So instead of saying 270 micrograms, you would do 270 divided by a thousand. One, two, three, zero point two seven milligrams per minute. Right? And since we do things in per hour, we're just gonna take that and multiply it by sixty. per hour, we can just divide that by our concentration. So 16.2 divided by 20 equal 0 0.81 mils per hour. And that's it. And I know this is kind of, it looks scattered and all over the place, but that's just how my brain works. But the biggest take home I try to remember is the dosage is the equation for me. There's no, there's nothing else necessary. It's the dosage that's the equation. That's it. All right. So, lastly, let's do a ketamine one. Right? Let's do ketamine. Is 100 mg per mil. Right, and let's do let's do 15 micrograms per kick per minute. Fifteen mics per kick per minute, and our patient is 32.4 kilograms, completely random weight. Right. The dosage is the equation, so if you set it up like that, the entire thing speaks for itself. Uh, so 15 micrograms per kilogram, 32.4 kgs per minute multiplied by 60, right? So 15 per or 86 micrograms per minute. We don't do things in per minute. We do things in per hour. So we take 486 times 60. We get 29,160 micrograms. But again, that's not that much considering we're still talking micrograms. So the only thing we got to do is divide it by a thousand. And that equals 29.16 milligrams per hour. Divided by 100 mg per mil, 0 0.29, we'll just say, 2916, but we'll just cancel those out, so that's it. That's it, that's all CRIs are. It's just multiplication and division. Uh, let's do one last one. One last one. Let's really go through it more, more step by step, because it really is the same thing every single time. So we are going to do. All right. So let's do. Uh, let's do norepinephrine. in one mic per mil, uh, one mic per kg per minute, right, and let's, for the sake of ease, say our patient is 40 kilograms, use the dosage to form your equation, one microgram per 
times. 40 kilograms per times 60 minutes. To get per hour, right? So the rest is just multiplication. 1 microgram times 40 kilograms is 40 micrograms per minute. 40 micrograms times 60 minutes is 2,400 micrograms per hour. And since we don't deal in micrograms right now, divided by a thousand to get it into milligrams equals 2.4 milligrams per hour, which with a one mg per mil concentration is going to be 2.4 mils per hour. That's it. All right, so I hope this session of CRI calculations helped you out a little bit. Uh, this is just going to be part one. There's going to be a few more parts to go in more in depth. Um, but I hope this helped you out. If it did, uh, let me know about it in the comment section below. Also, let me know if there's anything I do need to improve on or anything you didn't understand, and I can try to make it easier to understand. So thanks for stopping by that Deck Bites, and I'll see you later.